hello you guys welcome to a new video so i'm going to oh so i'm going to be showing you guys my monthly reset routine i have done a monthly reset routine before but it's been when i lived at home so i feel like it's kind of different in my apartment and it's just like there's more to it because i have the whole place to clean besides just like my room and everything and resetting for the month and setting like new goals reflecting on your past goals i feel like it's just so important for person my in my opinion in my personal growth it's just really important and just like resetting and really thoroughly cleaning my place helps me so much to be in a clear headspace because i don't know i'm just someone who thrives off of a clean environment and shit like dusting the baseboards and like doing all of that like little stuff that i don't really do on a day-to-day -day basis it helps doing it every month so that i just know everything is so clean and since the place isn't that big it's not like it doesn't take me like too 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 long which is nice but yeah so it's a lot of cleaning but it's also a lot of like resetting goal setting and yeah, so I'm gonna be taking you guys along what I do. I'm gonna start with cleaning just because I can't really be in a mental headspace to make new goals for the month and like meditate and stuff in, in a messy place. Yeah, I'm so excited. So to start off, the kitchen is kind of a mess. As you can see, we had a fun night with friends the other night. So I can't wait to just like get the recycling downstairs and just like really clean everything haven't cleaned up really after breakfast yet and yeah they're just like shit on the floor and like i need a dust i just need to do a thorough clean which i'm excited for so we did get our couch this is what i'm on right now i'm going to make a whole moving vlog about it like moving vlog five because i still need to decorate like the living room i still want to get like a coffee table put a rug in and do all of that for the living space and i'm going to make like a whole video on it so i did get my couch but like i'm not going to do like a big segment on it today because like i said i'm going to make a whole video about it i'm so excited about it it's so freaking comfortable it exceeded my expectations so i'm so happy about it um but yeah there's gonna be a video moving vlog vibe coming soon but yeah so just keep that in mind and get excited subscribe and put your notifications on so you don't miss it okay let's get into the reset and start cleaning guys so before we move on with the video i wanted to give a big thank you to better help for sponsoring it it's in honor of mental health awareness month so may is a month to raise awareness about mental health and fight the stigma and provide support with anybody who is struggling with mental health so this year's theme is actually together for mental health basically what that theme is all about is sharing your personal stories to encourage people to prioritize their mental health it's so crazy because i feel like in today's society mental health isn't really at the forefront and nurturing your mental health isn't really at the forefront of anything but in order to live your best life in order to be happy 
you need to be taking care of your mental health and you need to be prioritizing it it's honestly more important than anything else because it really does feed into every single aspect of your life also like one of my friends has really struggled mentally and once she started going to therapy and talking about it i noticed a huge change in her and she's honestly working through things and she really is now living growing and I can just tell that she isn't struggling as much mentally and it's really helping her. And so it's just amazing to see what getting the right resources can do. Another big theme about Mental Health Month is advocating to access mental health care. And this has long been one of BetterHelp's goals. They offer customized online therapy that includes video, phone calls, and you can even live chat with your therapist. So if you don't want to see anybody on the camera and you're not comfortable with that, you don't have to. BetterHelp is a lot more affordable than off Line, like traditional therapy they also offer financial aid during the sign up process and they also accept HSA I think it's called benefits so BetterHelp actually has to over 20,000 therapists and it gives you access to therapy which might not even be available like in your area to do in person you can access this from wherever in the world so all you have to do is fill out a little questionnaire and then BetterHelp will match you with your perfect therapist in under 48 hours so yeah as you guys know i really love to incorporate like mental health into my videos and i really love to advocate how it can be just so important for every single aspect of your life and so that's why i'm so happy when better help reached out because it just i feel like really aligns with what i preach and with my channel and what i want to spread to you guys and help you guys with because i know that there's so many people out there who struggle and don't see don't know about resources that can help them and i personally believe therapy is for everybody not just the people who are really struggling mentally on a day-to-day -day basis so yeah if you guys want to try out better help and sign up you can use my link in the description and everything will be there to make it easy for you guys so but yeah thank you so much to better help for sponsoring next thing that i'm going to do is clean out my fridge um i like to do this at least every month just because things can get dirty and accumulate like old food that you didn't even realize you had so i just kind of want to take everything out wipe everything down and then restock it and if there's anything old in here i can just get rid of it so that it's like a clean fresh start for new groceries for the month etc so this is something i definitely like to do at least once a month and while i do it i just kind of go on here and turn the fridge off because obviously it's going to be open for a while so i don't want to be wasting the energy but yeah so let's tackle the fridge okay you guys fridge is done it looks so much better everything is so clean and organized feels so good to do this oh my goodness
smoke city, that's high That you can't come around at night, yeah You like to give me eyes, you know I know I'm the side, yeah. You like when I make fire, you say the flame can make you fire yeah. Let me come inside, yeah, let me plant that seed inside, yeah That's it, it's, 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 only thing that's the whip, yeah Only thing that was real, only thing I can feel, you yeah. feel So why you bother me, why you bother me? Okay, so after I clean and just kind of make my space mentally okay for myself so right now i'm just going to go over my goals from last month that i wrote down and i'm just going to read over them and reflect on them and then i'm going to write new goals for myself going forward into this next month what do i know what do i want to accomplish financial spiritual like in every aspect of my life Setting my goals each month just means so much to me because it really just gives me something to look back on as well like at the end of the month and also it motivates me throughout the month it helps me reflect like if you guys have never tried doing that i totally suggest that you should start um, and see if it would work for you because obviously i know that things don't work for everybody but i just feel like personally it motivates me and it helps me so much to actually accomplish my goals and it's crazy when you write something down and then the next month you look back at it on it and you're like oh my god like shit i did that like it's crazy it's a crazy feeling and it also helps you realize how much how far you come and how far you can come sometimes we're just going about life and we're accomplishing all these things but we don't really realize it we don't sit back and realize like oh shit like i did that like i accomplished that and doing this like writing your monthly goals it really just helps to realize how much you can accomplish and how much you do accomplish when you reflect back on your other months i just do my monthly goal setting on my ipad and i just use the app good notes and i just write all my monthly goals out on there you can always do it on a piece of paper you can type it out you can use whatever like you can use notion like whatever platform you want to use so now i'm just gonna scroll on pinterest and i'm gonna reset my background for the month um because every month i like to switch up my background and make a new collage and it's just kind of like the mood board for the month i like to call it so that's what we're gonna do now switch my um background on my laptop Okay, so here is my new background. I love it so much. So I just kind of did like healthy eating, lots of fruit because it's summer. So like blueberries are going to be coming into season in June. And also like, I really want to get those bubble candles. I want to work out, really love, I really want to get like a pink workout set. So it's just like putting it out there. Um, big dreams, big butt, big bank. I love that so much, it's so funny. Um, lots of sunsets and yeah, I just really love this vibe and it just feels so good to switch up your wallpaper because I look at my computer screen every single day and having the same wallpaper honestly just gets old so switching it up it actually helps a lot. Yeah, and then I also have this quote here, you have two choices, evolve or repeat and I love that so 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 much. It's so relevant honestly. But yeah, that's my background. Okay guys, so right now I'm just going to... 
wash my face and apply a nice face mask because that is a part of my reset routine is to do self-care and to me that is just pampering myself to be honest doing a little meditation so that's what we're gonna do first we're just gonna wash my face and then put my face mask on and then we're gonna go in the shower okay so now as you can see i got the face mask on and i'm in deep relaxation mode so i'm just gonna do a meditation and just really visualize and manifest the month the upcoming weeks that i want how i want to feel what goals i want to accomplish and just reflect on that and just kind of cleanse myself for this upcoming month it's gonna feel good and i love doing this self-care is not only on the in exterior but it's also on the interior so So now I'm just gonna hop in the shower and I'm gonna wash my hair and everything and I'm gonna do a shower meditation and what I do for like a shower meditation is I let the water on me kind of like cleanse me and any negative things that happen that month I let it go inside the drain the water is cleansing me of it kind of giving yourself like a fresh start and I just like to think of positive thoughts let everything bad go all negative thoughts go all limiting beliefs go and it's the best thing ever so that's what we're gonna do and wash this face mask off and i just hate washing face masks off also in the sink it's just like so hard and you get water everywhere and i hate that feeling so let's go wash this off because it's like really drying right now <laughs> I can't keep no profit with you, boy, can we just rub it out? I don't want no sex, 